Let's talk about what is TDD and why it is so awesome. Test-driven development is a coding discipline where you write code by repeating three simple steps. First, you figure out the single use case that your code must satisfy. And you write this use case in the form of a test. And that first test will fail because there's no code that implements that requirement. And it doesn't matter if it's failing because you're referring a class that doesn't exist or a service or some element on the template that doesn't exist yet. As long as you capture your requirement in the form of a failing test. The second step is to write that code to make the test pass. And then the last step is to refactor your solution to something more maintainable, readable, uh, something that you can commit to production. It is encouraged that at the second step, you try to come up with a solution as fast as possible with the simplest way you can do. So why TDD works so well for me? First of all, it helps me to figure out what the hell my code should be doing in terms of use case scenarios. Regardless whether it is to pop a dialog when the user clicks a button or turn a raw API data into a rich model object, it allows me focusing on what's absolutely necessary for this code to do instead of being distracted by thinking which shade of blue this button should be or some other insignificant detail. Another benefit of TDD is that there are always only three steps. So when I return to my coding from a break, I always know where I left and what to do next. This is making getting stuff done much easier. Next, using TDD makes it easier to create a better architecture because it constrains me to write only the code that's needed to pass the test. It also helps to see where to start breaking things down into more components because your tests are getting too complicated or the code is getting too big and which things need to go into more components and services and whether you need to use some kind of state management. Then when you write the tests in the way that describes the desired behavior of the component, it creates a living executable documentation for your code. So instead of dissecting the inner workings of the component to figure out what it does, you can just glance at the tests and get a quick idea of what it does and how it works. And when you have tests that assert against the expected behavior of components, it is so much easier to refactor the code. For example, as long as my test for listing to-dos is passing, I can completely refactor the way those to-dos are fetched, prepared, and filtered for the display, and still feeling confident that everything works correctly, as long as the tests are passing. And lastly, writing tests first makes much better tests in general. If the tests are written after the code, it is too easy to miss some important functionality. Additionally, the tests that are written after the code are often asserted against the implementation, not against the expected behavior. So these tests are harder to understand because they talk about some little specifics about how the component works rather than what it does. And they break as soon as you change something in the code, even when it's not related to the expected behavior. 